in northwest Europe on the evening of the 16th of August 1944, Lieutenant Watkins was commanding a company of the Welsh Regiment. The battalion was ordered to attack objectives near the railway at Bar 4. His company had to cross open cornfields in which booby traps had been set. It was not yet dusk and the company soon came under heavy machine gun fire from posts in the corn and farther back and also fire from an 88mm gun. Many casualties were caused and the advance was slowed up. Lieutenant Watkins, the only officer left, placed himself at the head of his men and under short range fire charged two posts in succession, personally killing or wounding the occupants with his Sten gun. On reaching his objective, he found an anti-tank gun manned by a German soldier. His Sten gun jammed, so he threw it in the German's face and shot him with his pistol before he had time to recover. Lieutenant Watkins' company now had only some 30 men left and was counter-attacked by 50 enemy infantry. Lieutenant Watkins directed the fire off his men and led a bayonet charge, which resulted in the almost complete destruction of the enemy. It was now dusk and orders were given for the battalion to withdraw. These orders were not received by Lieutenant Watkins' company as the wireless set had been destroyed. They now found themselves alone and surrounded in depleted numbers in a falling light. Lieutenant Watkins decided to rejoin the battalion by passing round the flank of the enemy position through which he had advanced. But while passing through the cornfield once more, he was challenged by an enemy post at close range. He ordered his men to scatter and himself charged the post with a Brent gun and silenced it. He then led the remnants of his company back to battalion headquarters. His superb gallantry and total disregard for his own safety during an extremely difficult period were responsible for saving the lives of his men and had a decisive influence on the course of the battle. <laughs>